Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Hope you're having a good day. Boy, this is not gonna be the kind of video you're used to. It's a reaction video. I do these once in a blue moon. I did this, we talked about a long time ago. I did one on Meet Kevin about how much money he was making and I was just blown away by how much I found out he had invested and I talked about it. For those that don't know, when I first became a YouTuber, I had no idea what I, what I was doing when I got on here. I was just on here, my kids over, I should say my students over at the uh, school said, hey Mo, get on there, teach, get on there and teach like you teach, entertain, have fun, spread knowledge, get on YouTube. And one of my students, Brady Rupert talked me into it and I did it and lo and behold, here I am doing it for a living now. And when I got on here though, Brady helped me. Brady was my go-to for all my questions. And it's funny because the teacher became the student. He helped me with everything. And at the end of the day, I got to a point when I was working with like figuring out, I didn't know the rights, the wrongs, what to do, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. All I knew that I was on YouTube and I tried to look at other YouTubers. I didn't have anybody to talk to except Brady. And then, so as I continued to grow and the success of the channel was awesome, the outpouring of love, it was fantastic. So I looked at other YouTubers for how do they monetize? How do they, you know, get some cash rolling in so we can have this change our lives? And everybody knows about the YouTube and everything else it pays, but how do you make money on it? And so I watched Meet Kevin. Meet Kevin was the guy I kind of went to and watched and looked up to, just like a lot of people out there, for how he grew his channel. And back then he was doing I think it was video after video after video was stimulus check, stimulus check. I heard, and I never went back to his older videos that he talked about, I think, real estate before then. I don't know if there was something before then. You can put it in the comments, educate me. But there was other things. But he's now worked his way up to talking about stocks and finance and that stuff. And being very, very transparent, and I have to say, probably the one of the most transparent people I've seen on YouTube, arguably. I think there's some other people out there pretty transparent. And he talks about how much money he has from real estate, how much money he has in stocks, where it's at. And he just did a, a tweet today uh, on Twitter, and he did a video, uh, I should say today. I'm making this video at night, so you're gonna get it in the morning, but he made a, a tweet yesterday and a video last night discussing some of the things and why he did what he had to do. Now, I've covered this already, and this video isn't about that. This video is not discussing why did he do it and I'm gonna be mean, I'm gonna be nice, I already covered it. I believe every person out there has the right to do whatever they want with their money and that includes investing, this, that, and the other thing. Now, when you are a personality on YouTube and you're an influencer and people follow you, expect reactions one way or the other. I can buy a stock and people will say I'm a fool. I can sell a stock and <laughs> the other people will say I'm a fool. And so you, that comes with the territory. You have to be ready for criticism and you get criticism. I can have nine stocks out of 10 go up, and I'm gonna, if I have one miss, you're gonna have a ton of hate coming out. And of course, during a bear run, and the market's going down, NASDAQ's down 16% at one point, a lot of stocks from a lot of different people, including regular investors, professional investors, YouTubers, they're in the red, and you get a lot of changes out there. You rotate. Now, I rotated back in November, October, November, December. We're moving, we're rotating, moving some of the higher risk into the financials and moving into the energy. And we did the moves we needed to do, and we did it slowly but surely, and now I'm comfortable with my portfolio. Kevin, as he stated in uh, his thing, I got some notes here, and I watched the video, very enlightening. I'm gonna take a different approach to this. We're gonna talk about one of the big bills I have not heard mentioned because he is very transparent. But this one, as a YouTuber and a very uh, healthy respect for the tax man, is one that I haven't heard discussed. And I'm actually curious about this. So I'm gonna bring this up. Maybe we'll get an answer, maybe we won't. But at the end of the day, it's just something I'm curious about. And possibly part of the equation I think people are overlooking of why you would make a move such as he did, which was to sell everything. I think he said um, he was saving capital because of the Fed. Why did he, uh, he used, well, we'll look at some of the things he said. Why? Because of J-Pow. So that was it. And then he was saving capital because of the Fed, 95% cash, 4.99% gold, 0.1% some other things, I think stocks and some other things. But we're gonna get into all this and you're gonna like this video because this number I'm gonna throw out to you that I have not heard discussed 
concerning his his money, his valuations and everything else, because he's out in public talking about all of it, which, you know, he doesn't have to. So hats off to you for talking about this stuff, Kevin. You know, you don't have to, and that shows you how transparent you truly are. And I was amazed. What really piqued my interest is one of his tweets, which we're going to get into. But before we do, shameless plug here. If you haven't done it, take these free stocks. You can get five free stocks from Moomoo and for hitting certain deposit levels. And up, and you get a free share of Lucid if you deposit $100 or more. And, of course, right now, $20 worth of free Bitcoin from Gemini. All you got to do is trade $100 or more. They got Sandbox over there. Now, this is the one I think is going to go crazy. You're going to get up to $8 to $10 a piece by the end of 2022. And there's some other big things going on. But they don't have it at Coinbase, Robinhood, or Weeble. So Gemini has that. Take advantage of this using my link. Now we get into the tweet. Wall Street Journal just interviewed me. First of all, I was like, wow, that's huge. And they said in my studio and asked why paper hand. I told them I'm a weenie baby, baby, or weenie baby, blah. And j Powell isn't my friend anymore. I had the Wall Street Journal as well reach out to me a long time ago when I was first into YouTube. We were blowing up big time. They wanted to do an article. I did not want to do an article. I just wanted to come down 1972 basement and do my thing. And so I did not do the interview, which I know a lot of people who I was friends with and still am friends with, they said, you should do it. And I think the, I believe it was the Financial Times reached out as well. I have to go back and look at my things, but I didn't want to do any of those interviews and everything else, which as I move forward, I get more comfortable. Remember, I was just a small town guy doing his thing and trying to help people. And so... At that time, I, I did not do that. But when I read this, they, they just interviewed me. So he did get an interview, according to this. And he went with that, and he said, Jay Powell isn't my friend anymore. Wow. First of all, blown away by the Wall Street Journal. Secondly, once again, very transparent, talking about what's going on. Leads into this. Why I'm flip-flopping again. And very, very transparent video about much of his life, about some of the things he's changed his mind on. I think he said he wouldn't make courses. He made courses. That he would never, I think it was something about do something on stocks. He did something, I think it was a course on stocks. I don't know. You can go in there and watch it. Correct me on anything we discuss in this video concerning some of the things in that video. There's so much going on. It was, it was a lot. But then he, you know, I get that. He, he explains you know, the adaptation, the flip-flopping, whatever term you want to use for it, change, changing with the times, changing with the situations, and making sure that he can continue to evolve his business, his life, his money, everything, his family, everything dealing with that. There's a lot of pressure to get in front of the camera, to have people, you know, praise, attack, and, you know, at his size, you know, he has 1.8 million subscribers. I don't even have a third of that. But that is a big number. And that's a lot of people around the world who are watching and a lot of people who will do exactly what he does. That's the thing, I think, why there's so much, there's a lot of pressure right now because a lot of people are concerned that they will blindly follow a YouTuber. And if they're gonna blindly follow you, and you even if you come out and say, this is for entertainment purposes only, do your own research, you gotta, they're still gonna do it. There are a lot of people out there that will follow YouTubers, follow other celebrities, whatever they do, they do. Uh, I can tell you, I had people come up to me and tell me that they sold everything when Kevin sold everything. And to me, and YouTubers aren't always going to agree on the same stocks, and we aren't always going to agree on the same leverage, no leverage. I like leverage, others don't. Options, I don't really care for options except leaps. Others like shorter term options. We don't agree on things. But the one thing I am strong about is that you can come up with strategies to go through a bear market and come out the other side smelling like a rose. And that doesn't mean selling everything. And I know some people would say, yeah, he can. And I agree, he can. He might look like an absolute genius at the end of this. And that is where the market might tank 30, 40, 50 percent and once we get into these numbers you're going to see why uh, i think that maybe that may have played into it that could happen because the thought is hey you're on here you're promoting buy the dip buy the dip buy the dip and then you sell you sell everything and we move into 95 percent cash 4.99 percent gold 1.1 percent other things 
So now that we know what his positions were, the 95, 4.991.1, I wanted to take a different spin on everything. Ah, you know what, there's his buddy Jeremy over at Financial Education. I watched his video, very interesting video on that. If you haven't watched that one too, take a look. He goes over, I think he had the same title that uh, Kevin did in his video. I think it was Ending My Channel or something like that. And he discusses his, he does a reaction video on him. This is a reaction video on this video, but a little different, a little different because he's so transparent and I was following along with this whole drama that's going on with, seems like everywhere, discussing Wall Street Journal now stepping in. Are you kidding me? That's how big this is getting. I saw that he made the news and that's when I covered it when it was on uh, one of the major online news places. And I was like, wow, that is huge. You, they wanna know about YouTubers and they wanna know about Meet Kevin, especially. And so when I watched this, uh, what really popped up was a few things, okay? And we're gonna get into them now. And we got the tweet like I showed you here. And then we move into how much money does he make? And this is where it's all gonna come in. I put all the number of work for you here for those wanting the meat of this story, here you go. I looked at this one from back in September 27, 2021. He was making back then in 2020, $1 million per month. So fast forward, how much money do you think he made in 2021? We know January and February are huge, March were huge for YouTubers. It was beyond belief, okay? And so he was making that much and he's kind of the, the biggest one out there when I think about it. I know there's the Grand Stephens and the Andres, but you know, that kind of, I think he was really monetizing his traffic the best to the point where he was pulling in that kind of cash. So in 2021, I gave him a raise. And I thought, all right, he's making over a million a month. So we'll, we'll put this at, how much could he make? Well, he said he made $4 million in capital gains in 2021 from his investments. He put in at least a million back in 2020. So I'm saying he made more than that because that, he was growing exponentially. He was doing, I remember when I got in in August of 2020 and he was, back then he was doing like four or five videos on it seems like four or five videos maybe three to four videos a day on stimulus checks everybody wanted to know about him he, he was going up he was going up hundreds of thousands of subscribers talking about that and then he kind of transferred into the financials more and talked more about that instead of because after the stimulus checks goes you have to change your content you move and i think he started out as a real estate channel i didn't go back into the the how far back and what other, what other topics he's discussed in the past. I'm sure they're in there. But at the end of the day, he's grown his channel to 1.8 million subscribers. And that's incredible. That is an incredible, incredible feat to do. So once he talked about that, I thought, okay, how much did he make? All right, so let's give 4 million in capital gains. Let's say well, over a million. A million times 12 is 12 million. I didn't know he had to make more than that. He's been growing rapidly. So I put it at like 1.3 million or 1.3 million a month. And that, and that includes his real estate, which he said is valued at 24 million. So does that include the income coming in? Put it all together. I put him at about 16 million in income in 2021. All together, plus his 4 million from the capital gains, taking him to 20 million. I'm sure I'm off. I'm sure he could be under that. He actually could be over it. And I'm not sure where we're at in that, but that's where I'm at with this right now. So I thought, okay, one thing I haven't heard talked, because I know people are like, did you did you get margin? Was it a margin call? I didn't think it was a margin call at all. I didn't think he got that. And he's, he's been very straightforward. No, I didn't get margin call. I believe him 100%. No, no reason to doubt him. And he has a ton of equity, all that good stuff. And, but the questions I had were, you know, obviously he said, Jay Powell, why, why did you paper hand it or whatever he got into? He said, because of Jay Powell, the, all that stuff. And you can watch the video. And then he said, now I'm saving capital because of the Fed and I'm 95% cash. Look, Warren Buffett has a ton of cash waiting for the next opportunity. And the opportunity is gonna get here. A time in this market, it might be this year, five years, 10 years, eventually you will have a event, an event that will absolutely crash the market down. Maybe another strain of COVID that just shuts everything down, a more deadlier one. Eventually, you are going to have a moment that the markets could tank 50, 60%. I've been through those. Dot com bus, NASDAQ dropped 75%. Back in 2000, we saw that, that was then. Then we had 2007 to 2009, we saw markets collapse. The financial structures almost went out. Warren Buffett made a bank 
full of money. And so there's always opportunities. 2020, we had the drop. Down it went, people loaded up at the bottom. They made bank on the way back up, which obviously he did. He made four million in gains last year. Four million, he said in 2022, already he took. He took the gains. I don't know if they're short or long-term. I'm just gonna say they're short. I hope they're long-term for his stake because the taxes are crazy, which we're gonna get into now. So he lives in California. What is the tax rate in California? I'm just pulling these up. These are all spitballing, 12.3%. Anything over 625, 625%. And we know the first up to the up to 625, you owe 60 grand. I'm just gonna make it a round number. We're just rounding. I know people out there with the calculus, hold on, you're wrong. I know, just a little bit. I'm just gonna take the 12.3. What is the federal tax? Well, we know he's above 523. And obviously you would owe this up to that. I know it's a step increment and all that. We're just gonna make a straight 37 on all income. I know it doesn't work that way, but we're gonna do that. So 37 plus the California, then I don't know what his local is. I'm just taking the average of California. Local is 475 different jurisdictions, 2.617. He runs his own business. That's the thing. A lot of people don't know this about YouTubers that you, uh, you're considered independent. You're running your own business. Uh, and I got the capital gains right here. Anything, you know, it's 20% for long-term and it's normal income if you are short-term. So I'm not sure if he's short-term or long-term, but right here it is the income 2.9%, all your combined wages, Medicare part of the self-employment tax. So additional 2.9%. Add them all together. He's looking at 54.817% of his income from 2021 will need to be paid in taxes. Once again, I'm rounding the numbers and trying to put my mindset into some of the moves and conserving your capital for future opportunities, investments, because I think he said he has some investment opportunities he's looking at. And he was uh, doing something with his properties. I believe some people said, I don't know if he mentioned that in his video. I believe I heard him say something. He was gonna make some moves with that too. He talked about a jet he was going to buy, $50,000 down payment. I think he said he lost that in this video, but he didn't do the jet, which. Hats off to you, Kevin. I wouldn't have bought the jet either. Just run it. I think it's like 20 grand to run a jet if you want to fly that. I'll stick to coach. I, I like to have more fun when I go out to eat and all that than worry about where I sit for a few hours on a plane. So at the end of the day, I put that in there. $20 million, 4 million. Here we go, 4 million. I'm gonna say short-term capital gains. I'm gonna guess a lot of that was long-term. I don't know, but I'm just gonna say the worst case scenario here. We're gonna say you made about 16 million from your real estate uh, income coming in, your YouTube income, your affiliate income, your sponsored income, all of that together and put it together. I put it at 20 million. That at first, $20 million in one year. Can you, can you imagine $20 million? The thing that just blows my mind is that he's gonna get less than half of this. If it's just, you know, he doesn't do anything to try to lower the tax bill, which I, I'm sure he's doing what he needs to do to try to lower that. But worst case scenario, you're looking at almost $11 million he owes in taxes. And I haven't heard this mentioned on the videos. And so in my mind, I hear him say in this video, I have $20 million in cash, all right? That's one question I have. In that 20 million is, you know, five, we'll say, you know, this is 11 million, but is 5 million to 11 million, I'm gonna even say it has a good accountant that got you out of some of the taxes. Is five to 11 million of that, 11 million worst case scenario, in that 20 million, in other words, you only have 9 million left after that, and you're down to $9 million, and you owe 11 million in taxes, and then remember, you made 4 million already in 2022, because you took those gains, would that be an additional 2 million you'd owe, so you're actually down to about 7 million? I don't know, and that's a question I would have personally. And the other thing is you said you got 24 million in real estate. Is that equity or is that how much your properties are worth altogether and you have loans on those so it's cash has to keep paying off those loans. And so that's some of the things I would wonder. So, because if you had 24 million in equity and an additional 20 million in cash, you have 44 million in equity, cash and all that, you're, you're, you're looking real good. But if you have like, you know, 5 million in equity out of 24 million, and you have the 20 million, oh, you're still looking good. You got millions of dollars. So that's the two questions I have, and we may never know the answer, but I gotta tell you, your transparency is fabulous. I love hearing about it. That would be something I'm curious about, because if that's the case, and you know the market could tank when you have 20 something million in, invested, and it could tank 30, 40, 50% in a given short period of time, and that could almost put you back 
below what you actually have to spend because of the tax man. The IRS man doesn't mess around. They will take things from you and they will put you places you do not want to be if you do not pay. So I can understand a little bit of that if that played in, if that was a variable. I don't know. I'm just out here watching this, but I know what? I've been talking to my accountant and I do not like the tax bills I'm seeing. So I'm guessing that is something that could have been in there. Don't know. So what do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Imagine paying a tax bill of roughly five to 10, five to 11 bi or billion. I say billion, he might be a billionaire before he's done, but a million dollars, five to $11 million. And that is something else. Yeah, just imagine he's paying more in taxes than some people will make in their entire careers. Their, their families will make in their entire careers. And he's doing that in one year. Wow. So at the end of the day, I will say the same thing. Everyone out there is allowed to do whatever they want with their money buy, sell, you know, options, even though I don't like them, they can. Uh, and uh, at the end of the day, all we can do is sit back and see if it works out. If it doesn't work out, what's gonna go on and whatever else. Now, I do appreciate everybody stopping by. This was my take and some of the things I'm wondering about. And we'll find out how this works going forward. Cause like I said, this man is transparent. He is continuing to share this journey with us. And I can't wait to see the Wall Street Journal. If he's serious about the Wall Street Journal article, I can't wait to read that. And congratulations for making the Wall Street Journal, possibly 10 to 11 million in taxes. Woo, that's a lot of money. All right, folks, I'll be back later on today. We'll talk about some of the things going on and the market and everything else. Most likely back today. My kids are coming back and guess what? Happy birthday to me. That's right. Today's my birthday. So you might not see me back later tonight. We're going to just maybe have some fun, go out to eat and just enjoy life a little bit. Uh, kids are coming into college to spend some time on my birthday and I greatly appreciate that. And so I'll take out my folks, my, my brother and his girl and my parents and my aunt and my kids and just have some fun for a day. I hope everyone has a great day. Hopefully the markets are green. I should be back. I might be back. I don't know. We'll find out. But Take advantage of the Moo Moo link down below. Get those free, uh, up to five free stocks. Plus, you can get that Lucid share using my link and putting $100 in there. And uh, you got the Gemini link where you get up to $20. You get $20 in free Bitcoin for trading $100 or more. And they got Sandbox over there. Take advantage of that. I got the new SoFi link down there for a credit card. I believe you get $100 for uh, doing something. They got the, the, you hit it, you'll see what you have to do. I highly recommend it. Not only am I affiliate for these guys, I am also a stockholder. And I do like, I got my leap options on them. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, that's it though. That's what I got for you. Join the Patreon too. Come over and see all the stocks we're buying and selling. Private Discord, thousands of members. We're taking it to the next level. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.